Okay there, we are at the Goodwill in Pasadena today, once again, to bring you content for sourcing. I'm going to show you things that I picked up for consideration, and what I've decided to purchase and what I'm not, and why. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. The first one is this amazing Act 1 New York vintage dress from the 60s. Like, this is amazing, complete with the bell sleeves. It's just, it makes me smile to see it. I mean, this is the 60s. It's such a great representation. $10.99. So that is an absolute yes. That's not even going to go in the antique mall. That's going straight to the rental house. And of course, online. That is piece of the day. So that's a yes. Um, this is a vintage blouse that I was considering for the antique mall. But it is not all that. <laughs> This is the kind of thing I want to pay like a dollar for, and they want seven dollars for it, which is typical for a blouse, but it's not that great. I'm not willing to invest seven dollars in something like that anymore, so that is staying. This Birds of a Prey, this Harley Quinn, this is this movie coming up with the Joker with Lady Gaga in it. There's no money in this. Um, if it were at the bins, yes, but here they want six dollars, so leaving that behind. This is a super cute vintage Willie Smith top. It's pink and white, which is why I grabbed it. Um, if it's worth the bins, absolutely, because everything pink is just flying out of my store. But for $10, there's, this is not worth $10 to anybody, so leaving that behind. Holding horses. This is not my customer. I know that this sells well for other people. Um, and I've learned to stick with what works for me and not just sell what sells for other people. So $10.99, I'm leaving it because I don't have a customer for this. And, um, you know, really fine tuning what I, otherwise, yeah, I would get something like that, but not for me. Um, Aloha Republic. Um, if I were into vintage shirts for Hawaiian shirts, this is a real niche. Um, I am not. And when I sell them, it's very rare at the antique mall, so I don't get them anymore. Um, they want $6.99, so that's as cheap as it gets here. So if this were the bins, maybe, and I'd have thrown it in the antique mall, but I'm not willing to pay $7 for that. But it is, the colors are great. It's just not my niche, so there's no point. This little vest I thought was super cute, but then I realized with my ink and nobody wants that brand for any reason that is a macy's house brand and i would probably have to cut the tag out to get it sold so seven dollars it is staying staying behind everything is crochet right now so i picked this up just to see six dollars for just this little nothing brand so i'm leaving that behind I thought this was super cute. Turns out it's a gap piece. So I'm leaving that behind. But otherwise, oh, that was really cute. It's really different. If it were at the, um, the bins, sure, for a couple of bucks. But I'm not willing to spend $8 on that. This striped sweater I thought was super cute. But there's no brand. I still want $6 for it. So it would be really hard to sell. Just leaving that behind. No worries. This grabbed my attention because everything with lips on it always sells. But this is nobody you've heard of, Bright Girl. And I just don't have the energy to <laughs> try to sell something like that. Um, $6. So I'm leaving that behind. This I thought was so cute. And look at the back. It's in such terrible condition. Um, it is just polyester crepe and it is super drab. And I want $10 for this. There is no way. Uh, but if I saw that at the bins, absolutely. I could probably sell that really quick, but I'm not willing to spend $10 or even eight with a coupon in that condition, and that's the reason. Otherwise, I would get that, even though it's nobody you've ever heard of because the style is just so great. This caught my attention because of the heart on the back, but I don't really do that well with denim jackets. So if this were the bin, sure, but for 10 bucks, then keep it. This I thought was kind of cute for summer, but again, it's unbranded. Uh, no one you've ever heard of. Maybe you've heard of it. And just it's just there. So there's no point. Maybe at the bins for like under a dollar, but for $10 for that, no way. Obey has sold for me. I'm leaving this behind. 
It's official one. Uh, it's just so faded. There's no point. And um, for $12, it would be a brief, very faded Obey sweatshirt. If you were going to wear it, sure. For yourself, but oh, not for reselling. Lauren, Ralph Lauren. I picked this just for me to, because maybe I wanted to wear it. I'm like, I need another thing like a hole in the head. Like NYC, this is super, super cute. Really considered this, but they want $14 for it. And, you know, right now, I just went to the sale at um, Nordstrom Rack, and you can get this brand, brand new with tags for $14 right now. So, it's emptying, but nobody's really looking for that. This, I love the color, because this always sells. So, if you don't source green very often, it always sells for me. But the condition is not great on this and um, it's, it's a brand I've never heard of I didn't even take the time to look it up but um, in this condition maybe at the bends I would try to steam it out but for six dollars no this kind of thing does really well for me anything Union Jack from England or f about England it has to be from England always does well but it's in such bad shape maybe at the bends for nine dollars they can keep it this type of bomber jacket always does well for me unfortunately it's in bad condition and it's only american eagle so we're leaving that behind and this is so cute but it's way overpriced in terrible shape i mean look at this this should have gone straight to the bin no they want to try to get 20 bucks for this somehow some way for forever 21 if this were in great condition, I'd consider it with my coupons. It'd get it down to about $16. But not like this. Forget it. You can't make any money on that. Um, it's just a spirit shape. This brand does sell well for people. I'm not going to try to sell it. But I do know what it is. Peruvian Connection. Mostly sold online. It's just an odd skirt for six bucks but I need like a hole in the head so I'm gonna leave that behind um, this is a backpack crocheted by Laura Ashley I thought this was kind of interesting um, but I guess it's for a girl because it says inside mother and child I don't even know what that means but crochet is all popular six bucks I don't think so it's just there those other things aren't mine. So yeah, out of all of this, look at this. I'm leaving it all behind. And we're taking the one good piece. The 60 stress. So this is the new me. <laughs> Not buying anything that isn't amazing that I can't rent. That I can't also um, you know do something really special with. So this is the winner. I'm sure you can understand why. The rest of this, average, nothing, 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 nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special, nothing special. See, at this point, with I have several thousand pieces to list. If it's not special, and coming home with me, and that's it. The one piece today from the Goodwill in Pasadena. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, I hope you would leave a comment, give a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I intend to start bringing you these haul videos all the time. I'm trying to grow my channel finally after all these years. <laughs> a little 197 subscribers, so um, people are starting to view them, so that's great. So thanks for your support. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's the Jenny Walker Archive. Thank you so much.